Well, ladies and gentlemen, it finally came. This big box contained this big box. Really nice packaging, by the way. The G701. And here she is. So, this is a replacement for a Sager. Uh, SP9873, I don't know, I'll write it down in the description. But anyways, I wanted a GTX 1080 laptop, and I had originally went with the Sager. Um, the Sager had the 1440p screen, whereas this Asus is only 1080. The Sager had a desktop 6700K CPU, whereas this has the something or other. Again, I'll put it down in the description. Anyways, this is a mobile CPU, high-end mobile CPU versus the Sager that had the desktop CPU. Now, you're wondering why did I get rid of the Sager and go to the Asus? Well, the Sager was a nightmare. Um, it did have the 1440p screen, however, the anti-glare was terrible, the colors were washed out, um, it was 100 hertz. Whereas on the Asus, it is only a 1080, but the colors are way better. The anti-glare actually works, and it's 120 hertz. Um, so far, this machine, now I've only been running it for mm, four or five hours now, is night and day over the Sager. Um, fit and finish, infinitely better. The Sager just looks so generic. Um, but I'll do pros and cons of both. You know, some areas of where the Sager excelled was the keyboard as far as the lighting. You could do different lighting controls. This only does the red lighting. Um, and to be honest with you, it's not as bright as the Sager's, but I haven't tried it at night yet, so we'll see. Um, this is the, there's two versions of the G701VI, a lower and a higher. The lower has only one NVMe SSD and the higher has two NVMe SSDs in RAID 0. Um, this one also has less RAM, this one only has 32 gig, whereas the other one has 64. I can upgrade those things on my own, so I figure I'll start here and uh, go from there. Now that the new 960 Pro Samsung SSDs are out, I'll probably throw one of those in there as well. Um, the factory SSD, these are the speeds I'm getting, 2.4, 1.3, very respectable. Um, the new Samsung is supposed to be, do something like 3500 and 1800, I believe. So, not bad, I'm not really sure who they use for their factory SSD, but we've got some good speeds. Um, if we go to their gaming center, you have lots of options here. It comes factory. You can see turbo gear here. I have it on manual. It came extreme. Um, extreme had all the cores at 41. The temperatures were still good, but it was just running a little bit too hot for my taste. It was touching 90 on the CPU side. Um, so I took it down to 40, and that seems to keep it mid-80s um, when it's fully under load. You can do your GPU clocking here, which I have not done yet. Um, so yeah, the Sager honestly probably was a little bit faster machine, which it should have been, right? You know, it's desktop, CPU, etc., etc. The Sager, however... If you took the Sager and even underclocked it, the CPU would run 92, 93, which was insane. So if you cranked the fans up to try and get it cooler, it worked, but the fans were so loud that it was just ridiculous. I mean, I, I could not tolerate it. This guy hardly any noise. I mean, the cooling system in this thing has just been <laughs> nothing short of tremendous, I would say. Uh, this power port back here, I don't even know how you get it off. 
like so. That's different, huh? I've never seen anything like that, but I like it. It seems more sturdy than the standard just circle input. I'll try and show you the back of her. It's got this cool window. I'm sure all you're seeing is glare. I really can't see anything underneath it either. I mean, I guess you can kind of see some things. I don't know if it's the GPU or what, but you know, these are just my first initial impressions after playing, but I don't have the crashes. I don't have the heat issues. I don't have the noise yet. I still get awesome performance. Um, for example, I'll go over he here and transition to some doom footage. All right, if we go into settings here and go to advanced, you can see that we are on ultra. If we go to video, it is 1920 by 1080. Uh, let's go ahead and find a match here. We're locked at 60 frames a second in the menu, but once we actually hop in the game, it'll go to whatever it dictates. Okay. 120 frames per second locked during the load. Still 120 frames per second, which is perfect because of that 120 hertz. But as you can see, there's almost no dip, regardless of how many things are being rendered. As you can see, performance is just awesome. I mean, we're only pushing a 1080 screen, but the GTX 1080 can push it at just about any game at maximum settings with no issue. On a laptop, sound isn't a problem, heat isn't a problem. I mean, Asus has just really, really got it together with this one. Um, there definitely was some bloatware. I probably spent half an hour cleaning bloatware. Um, to be expected, the Sager didn't have any, which was nice, but I wiped all that out and everything has been fine. Um, I'll try and do a more in-depth review with temperatures and show some different games. But in the meantime, you know, for this just coming out yesterday, I wanted to get the word out that this thing blows the Sager's doors off. All right, guys, until next time.